hello guys welcome back to another video it is currently 5 30 a.m on a friday and today is exciting because we have our bikini fitting which i cannot wait that's at 10 a.m so i'm off to train now train legs and then bikini fitting and then i've got a few phone calls today just new client uh consults and online check-ins and then I will probably have to go back to the gym for round two of cardio, but it's exciting because I joined a new gym, so I can take you guys there because I haven't even been there myself yet. So um, let's get into the studio. It's going to be a fun, with, fun one, and I'm going to share with you guys my macros as well. So let's go. All right, guys, I just pulled up at the gym. I decided to go to the new gym that I just joined up which is Evolve in um, Ormo. Uh, it's just a local gym. So it's all about that convenience, baby. When you spend five to six hours at a gym per day getting any training, whatever's easiest. So um, the other gym I'm a member of is like 15 to 20 minutes, whereas this is like a minute. My car didn't even get a chance to warm up and it's freaking freezing right now. Uh, but I'm going to go in at least I've got a few hours here um, which I can do my cardio. So hopefully I can smash it all out in one go. They've got like a good group room as well which I can do my posing. So um, let's get into it. Um, I'll share with you guys I guess a little bit in there and I do got want to show you guys my calories and what kind of cardio I'm doing at the moment as well. leg I just get the most glute engagement and I can really feel everything especially in that upper glute to side area um, which is why I do my kickbacks like that so I've got four sets of these bad boys and then I have got the flying leg curls or reverse hams I think um, but yeah let's go Okay, so single leg leg press, I, I'm a big fan of single leg leg press because I can get so much glute engagement. Um, and then I've got a reset to this and then lying leg up. Cable pull throughs up next, and then finishing off with some calf raises. Let's go. The thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that 
there's this group room, which is perfect for posing. I am so freaking hungry right now. I'm just cooking up some egg whites. Got ham over there. So excited. Alrighty guys, here is breakfast. Same thing I have every single day. We've got egg whites, onion, tomato, shallots, um, ham, light mozzarella, and sugar-free barbecue sauce. Yum. Prepping some light jelly, which is a must because we have that every single night without fault. Alrighty, guys, I am off to this appointment. I'm so excited. Nervous to try bikinis because that's never a fun time when you're not sage lane yet, but let's go. Okay, guys, bikini fitting done, and oh my god, I am so excited. She was just beautiful. I saw Nikki at Angel Fit, um, she's based on the Gold Coast, and she was just amazing. She really took her time, like, oh my god, she was lovely. Um, but yes, I did not show you guys what color that I got for obvious reasons, but I'm gonna be picking it up before the first ICN show. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it for ICN, it's definitely like my IFEB bikini. But I don't want to only wear it once either because it's nearly $700. Um, but it is stunning. I'm so excited to get that, which is, I'll literally be picking it up in five weeks or four weeks because I'm six weeks out this Saturday. So pretty insane. Um, it's a little bit scary though in terms of whether I'll be ready or not. But yeah, anyway, um, I've got my sugar-free monster here. I'm going to drive home now and I've got work to do. So as I said, I've got two client calls, one at one, one at two, and check-ins and a few programs as always. So oh, I'm so excited. Hello guys, it is the next morning. I showed you guys my dinner last night and today's weigh-in is not a low weigh-in but it is down a little bit. Um, I was 56.5 today. My lowest I've been is 56.2. So 300 grams up from my lowest weigh-in but feeling pretty good. I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a physique update. Waist is coming in. This is my good oblique side. Which is my IFBB pose. But yeah, that's how we are looking this morning. I'm a little bit flat. I am depleting right through for like 10 days because I'm still just coming off my diet break from my last video where I had my birthday. Um, but it's a Saturday morning. I'm seeing Steph today for posing and I've got two birthday dinners on. Um, so I'll bring you guys a little bit along with that as well because that'll be fun to show you guys with what I do. Potentially we'll get grilled with no burgers tonight for dinner. We'll see. But... I'm going to train, I'm going to see Steph, I'm going to come home, wash my hair, eat, and then get ready for tonight. So, it's a big day. I'm going to need a lot of caffeine to get me through, so wish me luck because today I've got legs, I've got hit to do, and I've got like 300 calories of stairs. So, rip. I'm going to train at EMF today, and I'm not going to do my workout because... I've already shown you guys a session, this video, <laughs> but 
I'm gonna make my pre-workout up. Okay, you guys, I just walked out of posing. I'm freaking starving. I haven't eaten yet and it's 12.06 now. Um, posing was good. Um, I'm just super flat at the moment. But, yes, so before I walked in for posing, I just got 10,000 messages from my client saying the exact same thing, lockdown. Um, so we're in a three-day three day lockdown as of 4 p.m. today, which is so shit. Um, it's just so last minute. I had two birthdays, um, technically three, but two birthdays tonight um, of friends that I was supposed to be going to, which I was actually looking forward to, but they won't be happening, which is fine because like, it's not like I would have been drinking or anything, like just prep. Um, so hopefully they get rescheduled um, and hopefully the lockdown is only for three days. It just makes things a little bit harder on my part, but I'm at seven and a half thousand steps. So I was just on the treadmill before, um, like whilst I was waiting for Steph. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty shit about that. I really wanted to fit grilled into my macros, um, but that's all, all good. What's a girl to do? Um, but yes. I am going to go to Coles now and buy some egg whites and some, what else do I need? I need to buy some egg whites, some crustkits and some laughing cow cheese wedges because they're like my favorite. Um, and then I am going to go to Isaac's tonight um, just to say, hey, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go to Coles and get some food in me because I'm starving. Alrighty guys, this is breakfast for the day, egg whites, oh, it was basically the same as yesterday, and then this bad boy, actually so yum. I remember trying this last time and thinking it didn't taste that good, but clearly diet taste buds are next level now, and it tastes amazing. This is one of my current favorite snacks, I just ate brekkie, but um, obviously it's yeah, 1.30pm, nearly, nearly 2, um, but yeah. It's Crosskits, Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge, and 50 grams of ham. So good. Alrighty, guys. So, here's the outfit. Some jeans, Nikes, this cute little top. Loving having my nails done as well. Um, but I'm just going to Isaac's now because we're in lockdown and... All of our plans got cancelled, so that's a little bit lame. But I thought my outfit was cute and I washed my hair, so we've got to document that. Um, but I'm hungry. They didn't have, I went to Coles and they did not have egg whites, they did not have kangaroo beef patties, annoyingly, so, or like literally like anything that I wanted. It was crazy because of this lockdown. People are literally insane. I just could not believe it. Um, so hopefully the Coles next to Isaac has some kind of good protein source for dinner that we can have. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry, so they better. <laughs> I'll show you guys our dinner tonight and then I'll finish off the video talking about calories and what I'm on. Hello guys. So I'm at Isaac's place. We just went to Coles and picked up um just went to Coles to get some dinner and they still did not have kangaroo but i got some chicken breast so we're gonna make some burgers and i'm really craving capsicums so i brought some capsicums to eat some chicken got some low carb rolls it is going you guys this is isaac's dinner Oh my god, it looks like the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. We made a burger with one of those like cheesy buns, and a steak, pasta salad, cheese, tabbouleh, sauce, with Oh my god. That's mine. Oh. Alright, so we've got Isaac's dinner and mine. We've got Capsicum on there. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> so good. Cheers, babe. Cheers, where we go. Jelly. Good morning, beautiful people. So I never vlogged yesterday just because we were in lockdown and we literally just watched movies all day and went for a walk to get steps in. So 
we literally did not do anything exciting. Today's Monday, so we just like skipped a day. Um, but today I'm going to go for a walk. It's like 7 a.m. at the moment. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm wearing my crop shop boutique outfit. Very cute. We love the blue. Um, so, yes. So we're in lockdown at the moment. Gym's open tomorrow, supposedly at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So I will definitely be training as soon as they open. So it just means today is a home workout day, which I am very thankful. I have a good home gym equipment, um, but it's not the same. I do much prefer uh, my gym any day of the week. It's all about that gym culture, but that's okay. We'll make do. So 13 and a half K steps I need to do. I need to do my hit also for tomorrow. I'm going to train legs and I'm going to substitute some of my stairs for incline treadmill walk, which we have a treadmill there, thank God. So I'm going to take my watch off for that. I'm going to put it on high incline and then I'm just going to go about how many calories it says because that's what I do for my stairs. I do 1600 calories on the stair mask machine in a week at the moment. Um, so I do 1600 stairs over a weekly basis, split up however I want, and then I do two assault bike hit sessions. So I've already done one assault bike hit session, I did that on Saturday, and then I'll do another one tomorrow when gyms are open so I can use the assault bike. I could do it on the treadmill, but it's just too much on the central nervous system if you are using the treadmill for that. So I prefer to use it on the bike, and te you technically can push yourself more on the bike. So I'll save my hip for then, and um. Yeah, I obviously have to hit my step goal as well. So, pretty easy. Um, but yeah, let's go get some steps in. I'm going to get a bit of home session in. And then I am still on the hunt for that sugar-free monster. So, I think I might go to Woolworths just because apparently Woolies sell it now. So, I'm going to go see if the um, Woolworths in Ormo, where I live, has it. Fingers crossed. Um, and... Then I'll make some rugby and then I'll get into some work for the day. So let's go. Alrighty guys, two hours done on the treadmill. I have my vitamins, my egg whites, my ham. I'm exhausted. They just announced that lockdown is gonna be extended until Sunday, which is over a seven day lockdown, which is shit, but it's fine. Two hours done on the treadmill, feeling good. I'm gonna eat breakfast because I'm hangry. Alrighty guys, I wanted to finish off this video having a little bit of a chat to you guys about my calories since that's what I've kind of titled this video as to where I'm at. Quick disclaimer, as always, you know, these calories are extremely low, but I kind of want to share them because a lot of people who are in comp prep and they are doing these series, it's like they'll show everything they do, but they don't show the calories that they're on. And I think it would be good to, you know, for myself to look back on just to see where I was at at the journey. Um, and yeah, so the calories I'm on are very low, not sustainable for the average person. And I would never put a lifestyle client on these numbers. However, my calories are at 1000 per day, six days a week. That's 100 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and 40 grams of fat. Um, and then I have one high day, if I get it, um, which is like 18, 1900, which feels like a dream in comparison. But that's just keeping it real with you guys. My set goal is 13.5K every day. Um, I am doing 1600 cows on the stairs. Um, doing two hit sessions a week as well, and weight training supposed to be five and I'm doing six days a week but that's my schedule that's what I'm doing I um, you know the show's coming around so close now um, and I'm just making sure that I'm doing everything that I absolutely can I just spent a good amount of time doing some posing as well um, we just need to be making sure that we are 
looking after every single variable possible but i wanted to share with you guys my calories purely because i wanted to you know show you guys the reality of contest prep and how hard it can be when you, you know you're on such low calories your cardio is high but you gotta do what you gotta do there's no complaining here um and you know thriving off a challenge lockdown or not um of course you know i worry if the shows are going ahead um but it's you know the worst case scenario if the shows get cancelled i have a pretty good physique from it so you know bodybuilding's a lifestyle if you know you're someone who's just doing this for one show and that's it then you know the, the sport's probably not for you because it's such a long-term game um i've got it also on my mouth as well by the way ignore that um so yeah i mean look there is very well and truly the possibility of these shows not going ahead but you know you can't think that way you just have, need to keep pushing through as if as if they are you know at this stage there's no stopping like full seams ahead like i have never been so motivated and never had so much of a tunnel vision and this is the hardest i've ever had to dig for a prep i've never had my calories this low um during a prep ever before and you know this is my fourth um prep i've ever done and you know preps are like six months so you know this is like my at the end of year two that i said you know of sitting my life at this harsh of a dieting phase if that makes sense and every single time i've had to dig deeper my calories have dropped lower every single time even though i've spent you know a, a huge amount of time in between having an off season um and my cardio has had to be even more aggressive than it was the last time but you know that's what it's about if you think you can get on stage and not and get away with not doing any cardio then maybe bodybuilding once again isn't for you either so it's it's a hard sport but i wanted to share that with you guys because i think a lot of you guys would be curious as to what calories i'm actually on and there you have it i'm on a thousand calories per day and that is why you know i'm looking at things like a monster between a green monster versus the pink monster pink monster has like seven grams of carbs and a green one has three I don't have pink monsters because that's a good chunk of your carbs per day. When your carbs are at 60, that's a whole bloody meal of lettuce you could be eating. So you got to weigh up your pros and cons. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Hopefully we don't have any more lockdowns from this point on. But full seems ahead. I'm definitely not stopping. And it's not a matter of if I get on stage again. It's when. Um, but you know let's just hope that it is a season I'm pretty confident that they will go ahead to be honest in Queensland anyway um, you know hard to say with New South Wales things don't look super promising there but I live in Queensland so we are very very fortunate fortunate here so I'm very thankful with how low cases are we basically have like no cases at all here which is amazing and definitely not on the Gold Coast anyway what like where the cases have been they've been in brisbane so full steam ahead we end stopping we just getting warmed up i'm excited to see what conditioning we can just push and just really dial in my physique as much as possible you know i'm prepared to give it absolutely everything i can like i'm not leaving any stone left unturned there's you know nothing that i'm not accounting for like i am doing every cardio I'm doing all my steps like I have not missed a day I have not missed a day of tracking it's yeah we we aren't here to play around we're here to make some changes and that's that's what I'm about so without further ado thank you guys all so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video